This facility is situated at one of the best sailing areas in the world. And if we don't utilize this natural asset, it will just go to waste. And the people that make it possible to utilize this asset, they are you. Thank you very much. Now we've thought it a good idea this year to dedicate this race to Mercia Mal Malcolm's wife, Mercia McGregor in the memory of her who passed away sadly last year. The organizers, uh, Reina and Eureka's idea to, because they knew my wife well, she was a frequent uh, visitor at the club with myself, and she's always supported myself and the event. And uh, as Flora said last night, it's really dedicated more to all the wives of sailors who sometimes uh, support their husbands or maybe are sitting on the beach knitting and watching them. So it's a tribute to all the ladies of, of uh, sailing. I think after last year, guys are a little bit nervous because last year we had a massive step in the wind at the start. We're looking, it blew a bit this morning, it's going to drop a bit. We brought the start a little bit um, further forward. We're going to have probably 20, 25 knots at the start. So it's going to be perfect dash conditions, windy but fun. This is a very dangerous area. So I've been coming uh, over here for the dash for the last three years now. So this is my fourth year. And uh, it's just a, a really fun race. Uh, Strong winds are really challenging. Uh, not many places in the world where you get to race in this sort of like big chop and really, really strong wind. Just something different, something that pushes you and uh, that I don't find, for example, in Mauritius. So it's something yeah, special and I like to, to come to take part in that, that race. So the yellow course marks the surf ski and the sub course. They start on the west side of Scarpen Island with the water start and they go straight down through the oil jetty to the finish at Dial Rock. This year is looking good, the wind's looking like it's going to be blowing really hard this afternoon. Uh, so downwinding on the sub, we're standing on a 14 foot board, uh, swells all around, it's pretty extreme but really fun, so good time. I'm using a standard paddle boarding with a foil on it. So, like, if potentially, what happens, I'll paddle with the foil and then I'll pump it so it gets up and then I won't be struggling like on the lap, like on the water, trying to like paddle hard the whole time. I'll be gliding a bit more, so it's more like flying. So it's like a whole other dimension, but I'm really loving it now. Windsurfers, the Hobie Cats, the kite boards and the foils all do a broad reaching course. You start at the main beach, all the marks are a big yacht to the flag because it's quite a long distance race. So you want to be able to see the mark quite far away. You basically go to your first mark, we go across to just above Club Mykonos, then we go flying on this long reach here through the oil jetty and then we have various smaller legs to the finish which is at the beach sailing club at Dalrock. Yeah, so today was a uh, strong wind, but not too strong like we had uh, a year ago. Uh, so it was manageable, but definitely a uh, challenging race. We entered the, the mouth of uh, the bay here pretty much together. And then it was very, very deep uh, uh, reach to the, to the, the boat. And uh, he was on a windsurfer, I had a kite, so I could go easier, deeper than him. And uh, then it was pretty tight between the two of us. Uh, Sebastian is called uh, pretty much all the way to the finish. I was I was so far in front of him. I don't know, maybe 100 meters or so.
This is one of the best diamond dashes I've done. I think I've done four or five uh, before, and the the outgoing current and the heavy wind in the beginning was perfect. I think that after last year, we all could have done with a little bit less. And I was praying the whole way that it would just be consistent. And it's um, and yeah, it, it really pulled through. It was amazing. The downward dash has always been, well we've been part of them, we always try and assist um, and that way we try and uh, generate some funds uh, for Sadal and Okay. Currently we have about 70 dogs, we go through about 30 k's food a day, so it, it's quite an expensive exercise at the end of the day. Uh, the vet accounts run 30, 40 thousand, so, so everybody's help at the end of the day. And even if it's just a bottle of water or a bag of food or whatever it has to be. And the downward dash has assisted a lot in that with, with that respect.